Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are gonna learn how to play Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. This song is really simple, very easy to play, and you can learn more songs by him like What Do You Mean and Sorry. And you can find the links over here or you can go to my channel, they are really fun to play. Now this song is, I've heard it's co-written by Ed Sheeran, so you've got some Ed Sheeran type of chords over here that he uses in his songs. <laughs> Right, so the first chord that we're using is E major and we're playing this with our thumb, index finger and middle finger, right? So we're going to put the thumb on the fifth string, all right? And with the left hand, we're going to have our index finger on the seventh fret. And then we're going to have these two fingers, the ring and the pinky fingers on the ninth fret of third string and second string, okay? So we got right so with your right hand you want to pick it like this okay so we pick all these three strings together then we pick the second string with our middle finger and then we do a little slap by just tapping our fingers on the string so that way it hits the fretboard and you get that noise all right Okay, let me do it slowly. All right. X chord we move to is a D sharp minor. So with your index finger, we just move one fret down on the sixth fret, and our middle finger will go on seventh fret of the B string, and ring finger will go on eighth fret of the G string. So you get okay. So. Here you see I just did the same thing with my right hand, pick these three strings together, pick the middle one, the middle finger, and then slap, okay? Now you just want to take this whole shape down two frets, okay? So this will be fourth fret, this will be fifth fret, this will be sixth fret. This is known as your C sharp minor chord. And do the same thing, pick these three strings together, pick the middle finger, second string, and then tap. So from the beginning you get... One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Then you move to this chord. This will be F sharp minor chord. And here you're just bringing the same shape up to the 9th fret, okay, so 9th fret over here, 11th fret over here, and 10th fret over here on the 2nd string, okay, then using the same um, right hand technique, you move to E major again, okay, the first chord that we use, and then back to D sharp minor chord, so this will be F sharp minor, E major, D sharp minor chord. So from the beginning you get D major, D sharp minor, and C sharp minor. Three, four, go to here. Two, three, four, and you repeat it, right? Until you get to the chorus of the song. Now there's a little improvisation on the E major that you can hear in the song. It goes like this. Okay, that's a little improvisation over here. Instead of playing this, you get... So it's very easy, what I'm doing is, I'm doing a hammer-on from the 7th fret to the ninth fret on the B string with my uh, middle finger again. And then play it one more time, the ninth fret, so... And do the slap. Okay, that's all you gotta do. But then make sure that when you go to the next chord, you know, you are holding on to the proper all three notes instead of just this one, all right? Now, now let's go to the chorus of the song. So the chorus sounds something like this. It's got two parts to it. The first part is gonna go something like this. Mama don't Go to the next 
next part of the chorus which we will learn after this so what we're doing is C sharp power chord so for that you need your index finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string and these two fingers on the sixth fret of the fourth string and third string okay now what we're doing what we're doing with the right hand is this we're doing the same thing that we did over here remember just that we're changing the strings now uh, thumb is on the fifth string index finger and middle finger are on the fourth and third strings pick all of the three of them together pick the third string now and then do the slap okay all right then immediately after the next the next chord that you go to is a chord so for that you need open over here and second fret and second fret over here again you pick all of them together and just leave it like that so you get from the beginning okay one more time and then on e major okay so what we're doing is for e major open over here second fret with the middle finger second fret with your ring finger and first fret on the third string okay and here what you can do is you can pick the top string and then you can pick the fifth string and fourth string right so no need to pick the third string okay so so here what we're doing is picking all these strings three strings together and then pick the fourth string okay and then do the slap okay so that's what you get and then in the end what you want to do is you want to again pick the fourth string second fret with your uh, middle finger right so you get all right and then you can actually mute this by keeping your uh, hand over the string right so one more time okay so from the very beginning you get this Okay, the next time, same thing, and then, now this time you, you know, you can play the whole chord, all of these string, strings together, and you can just leave it like that. Okay, so, Mama the third time, same thing, and then, what you want to do is you want to move from E major to B major. So B major is just two frets back from C sharp, right? So here you want to do just this one, one, one time. And after the slap, you want to, the next shape will be your B major. And you want to pick the fifth string, fourth string, and third string. And leave them ringing, right? So. So from the beginning, now the last time, the fourth time, what you want to do is this. Okay, so you don't go to E major. You go from C sharp to A, and then after this, you go to your B chord, and you do, you can do this five times, just do simple down strokes over there. One, two, three, four, five, All right, sir? Then you go to the next part of the chorus. So let me just play it from the very beginning. Mama don't last time. Then you go to the next part of the chorus. So the next part goes like this. Okay, so 
a very simple moving from E major to picking the top string, fourth string, and third string. Okay. Go to the next chord, which is B major. And then. So here, moving from C sharp. Okay, fifth string, fourth string, third string. A. Okay, so from the beginning, E to B to C sharp to A. Go back to E, three, and then you want to move from A to back to E. Okay, so you go one, two, three, and two, three, four. Okay, again, B, C sharp to A. Go from E to three. Right, so that's your chorus. All right, and then you go to the next verse, which will be the same as verse number one. You know, and then you go to the chorus of the song one more time. Now, after the second chorus, there's the bridge which is nothing but just a little imp instrumental part and in that instrumental part you just want to keep playing the chorus chords you just want to do that it's i think the trumpet is being played or something but that is all there is to the in, in the guitar part and after that bridge uh, he goes to sing another verse and he goes to do this again And this is the verse number three, you can say that. And after that verse, you go straight to the chorus, which is the last thing for the song. Now this chorus starts with the second part of the chorus. It starts straight with You know, it starts with the same this part of the chorus. It doesn't start with um, the first part that we learned. So that is all there is to this lesson. I hope it was helpful to you. And if it was helpful, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new, because I have a lot more Justin Bieber songs coming up. And uh, you've got, um, make sure you check out how to play Sorry or What Do You Mean? Because those are uh, very good uh, lessons that I've made and people are really liking them. So I'm sure you will like that too. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.